Hey how's it going ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Sanvox channel. Today we're going to be building the Gym Guard Custom. So, uh, you might say that, why? Is it, it is a pretty late. <clears throat> you are pretty late, yes. I am pretty late. I actually got this like when it came out like probably one month or two months later. But I, but I you know, I have a very bad habit. I bought, I bought the Gampa and I completely forgot that I bought it. <laughs> and then I just shove it into the backlog. <laughs> and uh, that's my bad habit. I, I might have to fix it. And uh, so, you know, we're just gonna take a look at the box art. So the box art, uh, this time I would just say though, it is pretty boring. <laughs> but I do have this gunplot right here. I already reviewed it. And um, so we're looking at the side here, we have the text and the standing position. And then we turn around, we have the uh, introduction of the gunplot. We have some gimmicks, we have some action and weapons and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, well, we're just gonna open the box up first. Okay, so right now we're just gonna take a look of the all of the parts in it. So, first we have a uh, instruction menu. So it got the information down below, and so we got the information down below, and <clears throat> we turn into the back with some action here, and then we have a lot of stickers. Hmm. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly take a look at it. So that's not really much special. So we're just gonna jump into the runner. So first we have two F runners. So I'm just gonna take one as an example. So the F runner, we got backpacks, we have shield parts, and then we have torso parts. Uh, that's the waist parts. And then we have thrusters, uh, thrusters, and then part of the knees joint. And then we have B1 and B2 runner. They're basically the same. So I'm just gonna take one as an example. B1 runner, we have uh, all of it. So across here is all the legs part, arms part, and the waist part. We have two E1 runner. They're exactly the same. It's a duplicated runner. So we have the legs part. We have the shoulders part. We have part of the arms. We have uh, front of the waist. We have part of the legs and we have the side skirt. And then we have the C runner. C runner is basically all the all the inner joints of the MS. So is actually pretty familiar. I believe this is, wait, uh, I mean the C runner, it looks exactly the same like the Heavy Gundam's C runner, if you remember what I'm saying. Uh, but plus here we have a beam spray gun right here. It's just an additional part. So the A runner we have obviously is a shield. This is shield, the head, the skirt armor, the inner skirt, the arms part, the, and the arms part, and this is the torso part. It's pretty obvious for the A runner. And lastly, we have the D runner, the D runner, the huge shield, the feet part, the torso part, uh, the lower legs armor, the 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 scope of the head is all is all in one piece here. And then lastly, we have some kind of small runners. So first we have a sticker. So this sticker, uh, it's not a big sticker, so I'm fine with it. Uh, we have the beam dagger effect parts. We have uh, markings. We have poly caps, and we also have the clear piece for the eye. Right, so the runner's introduction is completed. So uh, we'll see you guys at the review.
welcome back to the review of the gym guard custom so this is the finishing product um there's a lot of things i want to say though this is a overall uh, a good finish but uh, i still have one thing to complain about every gym every gundam in the origin series is the shoulder looks too small okay okay <laughs> back to the topic so uh the articulation the you know the color separation Mm, this time the color is a little bit off and I must say though I have some a little bit of complaints about the uh, colors and um, other than that I think uh, it is a good finish and the articulation uh, is good as I mentioned accessory for the for this compound is not really that much so if you're if you're someone that uh, loves to play with a lot of accessory then sorry this compound doesn't have like a lot of accessory for you to mess around but anyways uh, enough of the talking let's jump into the review so we're gonna look at the head first so the head at the middle here is a clear green piece it's a large one uh it's just a very standard gym thing and you know the head design is a little gym as well and um so we have two marking sticker at the back and then the red part of the head is all of them is stickers and it can sl the head camera can slide down just like the gym sniper uh, variations and then it can lift that back up again the head is moving freely because there's no interruption it can lift up and lift down and you know a little bit of moving back and forward on the leg on the neck because uh, there's an extra joint there so the head articulation is uh, amazing now looking down to the torso the torso is honestly not much to say about but i do have one thing to complain is the yellow part of the torso okay basically Every yellow part that you saw on this scalper is basically stickers and I just couldn't get it. Why can't you just like give us an extra runner that contains the legs uh, yellow part and the torso this kind of yellow part here so we can have extra color separation detail. It's not really that hard as I look at the design and uh, this time the you know the torso it gives you a whole gray piece and it just you know using the sticker on the yellow. I mean the sticker performance is you know pre it's pretty fine but um uh, I just I just wish there's a part separation and just like the heavy Gundam, there's an extra joint for the for you to bend around so you can bend the gunpla pretty goodly and uh, because there's not really much interruption so this gunpla can easily move 360 around. So for the arms, it can lift up on a pretty high angle. The shoulder piece here is movable as well, uh, and it can lift to the front. The articulation on it is um, is uh, you know very modern, so it can move to a pretty good angle about the arms and the rotations and I just dropped it and I don't know where did it go the black piece so the black piece at the side here is actually a dagger but unfortunately this is an XG it's not an MG so the dagger you actually have to assemble it yourself uh, there's a handle that um, be given in this kit and then you can you know reassemble the dagger by you know part swapping you know this is not a mg so do not expect like you can just pull out straight from the from the little black piece at the side of the arms and yeah that's pretty much it and it also have we also have another hands option with the uh, beam spray gun which is the trigger hand and uh there's no other extra hands so that's pretty much it so now we get looking at the waist part and the legs part so the waist part here um you can actually lift up the front skirt and um, the side skirt here you can lift you can lift to the side as well the legs is able to kick to the side, kick to the front, the back skirt is not movable, so that's pretty much it. And uh, we got an RG-ish kind of design on the legs, so the articulation is bending pretty well. The feet down here is movable, and the feet is flat, so it helps to stabilize the standing position. The part that I don't like about the legs is the stickers right here. As you can see, this yellow part is stickers, the gray part is stickers, and the blue part is stickers. The blue part I'm completely fine. The yellow part, as I said on the torso part, uh, I said the they, they could have just give us a yellow separation and just let them snap on it but the gray part sticker is seriously disgusting and it doesn't even fit on it and uh you know i just play around before i start the review so and now looks a little bit you know it, it started you know losing the losing the glue and now it's just doesn't really stick on it really well and it becomes very and it becomes very clumsy yes um yeah and that's pretty much it and looking at the back of the legs there's not much to say about it the only thing i want to complain about the waist is this this uh hole that have no purpose and you can't cover it up and you know it's 
it, it, it's it's kind of annoying to see something that you can't even use turn around and looking at the backpack the backpack is not really anything to say it's not very special or anything there's two extra hole here that have no purpose so if you want to customize put on some weapons just go for it the thruster down here is a ball joint so it's move low but surprisingly the ball joint is so stable and this time it won't pop out the ball joint is uh connected inside the backpack so it's not uh just from a output and then push in it's not it's not push in it's actually um snapped in the backpack so that's why it's so stay it stayed pretty well and then lastly for the accessory that the last thing that i didn't introduce is this shield the shield is uh actually almost as tall as the gunpla almost not not quite but uh all i gotta say is buy so the, here is the slogan when they design this gunpla buy a shield get a gunpla <laughs> that's basically what i say and um, so the shield is not really much to say about it. That's, that's not RG. There's no detail at all. There's the, but, the, but the color separation and the decals kind of makes it uh, kind of balanced. So we have a handle back here that is movable. Uh, you can snap onto the hands. But uh, there's a problem when you insert the shield because the shield is so heavy and the shield handle is uh, actually very big. If you just move the shield a little bit, you will just happen to be losing your uh, hands armor on the um, when you when you try to put when you try to post the shield because the depth of the handpiece armor is actually pretty. It's not really that deep. It's really thin. So I I would just say though the shield you can you do not you just post it once and then just leave it there. Don't try to post it a second time because the gunpla's hand apparently is not designed very well and it can't really hold the shield properly and it can't do what it what it says in the instruction manual to lift up the shield because you will just have the the uh hands armor keep popping out so this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this video uh i'm gonna say though the shield yeah it is a pretty big shield but i don't feel like the shield really you know matches the gamba or it it works perfectly on the gamba the shield is uh, it's heavy for the gamba so you can't even lift it up and the design problem on the handle is the handle too big and when you're trying to snap it on, on the hands and it, it just constantly popping out the hand armor and I just don't feel like I would like to post the shield, so I would just leave it out like that. But I already take some photos, so I'm, I think it's pretty fine. And right now, uh, as you can see, the legs articulation and the overall articulation is pretty good, so you can actually, you know, kind of do the pose when the gym kneel down and kind of shoot the enemy. I try my best. I'm not very uh, good. I'm not a very good per uh, like I'm not very professional at posing gamblers, so I try my best. But uh, anyway, I would just say though, uh, it is overall a pretty good gamble. It's just the color separation this time is a little bit disappointing on the legs. But uh, I, I would say though, I will, uh, I will, I will give it a, I will give it a pretty high mark since is it the articulation is still uh, acceptable and. And sometimes, as I said before, sometimes when you build too much Gundams, when you when you build too much fancy stuff, sometimes some simple stuff like Jim really appreciates me. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Uh, drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in another Gunpla review. Goodbye.